Welcome to another episode of Hair of FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the half season, 2020, uh, sorry, 2033-2034. We um, have been playing in the Skybat League 1 for a while now, for a few years, uh, three years, this is the fourth year. And we find ourselves in 19th at the moment. We have been sort of hovering around 18th. Um, for the last few weeks, so hopefully we can carry carry that on. Uh, yeah, so not doing great. Mainly the the main reason for this is finances. We are experiencing a lot of difficulty bringing in any income. The main reason for that is we don't have a big enough stadium to um, yeah to be able to make uh, a profit from that. Our stadium is only about fifty thousand seats actually not even that it's 50,000 capacity but only about 3,000 seats so we can't really make much money from that and to add to that we also have quite a big deficit and a wage budget the board recently has cut the budget by 7k so we were like just under the budget but now we're obviously over 7k under the budget. Sorry, I'm just going to fix the mic because it seems to be bumping into my chair. There we go. So, we are in a lot of trouble um, finance-wise. I'm not sure what the board is going to do about it. So, it's going to make us make it difficult to improve the squad. I'm basically playing with, you know, the, the majority of our players shouldn't be playing in this league. They should be playing in the league below. And this has been the case for a few years now. Um... So, yeah, it's been difficult to stay above the water. We're going to play Rotherham here. They are currently 13th, so they are a better team. We're not expecting a win. But it just gives me a chance to show you a match. Yeah, so we have a lot of difficulties. This will be the fourth season uh, in the league. And there is no prospect of us getting promoted, so we'll do at least a fifth, if not more. It was offline, was he? Offside. Oh, this other guy was. But he didn't get the ball, did he? Mm, didn't really interfere with the play, but okay. Um, yeah, so we... We are set to stay in this league for a while until the board figures out a way to find the money to invest in a bigger stadium so we can start turning in the profits that we should. I tried to go up the FA Cup and the Papa John's Cup and all of that, but realistically with the quality of squad that we have, we can't really go up, and also we were quite unlucky. We found Arsenal quite, you know, in like in an early stage of the FA Cup. So the maximum prize money that we got from that was 60k. Uh, we didn't get any more. So those were things that we could do, like get prize money. But if we don't have money to invest in the new players, better players then obviously we I can't really maximize the prize money from those trophies. So yeah, so I'm between a rock and a hard place right now as far as I don't know what to do to improve the club. So if you have any tips at all, um, obviously the, the thing I could do is sell youth players, which I have done actually this season. I sold two youth players, but not for a lot of money. They're not really worth that much money, My youth, our youth players. They're good, but they're only good for this level. They're not really worth millions. Or hundreds of thousands, actually. They're, they're worth tens of thousands. Which helps a little bit, but not that much. He's not fast enough. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like our strikers are, they've got t good technique, but they don't have physical attributes to be able to run for a ball that's just lobbed forward like this. 
And also, I did not instruct my players to do that, so I'm not sure why they keep doing it. I told them to do short passing. And not to do early crosses. So, I don't know why they keep insisting on lobbing the ball forward. But, you know, it is what it is. It's the kind of players that we have. The quality of players that we have, so... In contrast, the youth, the youth team's doing well. And the 21s isn't doing so well, though. Which is a bit puzzling. Because, obviously, all the youth players graduate to the end of the 21s. And we've had a strong youth team for two or three seasons now. Previous. This season's also good. <laughs> As you can see, our stadium is full. So we could definitely have sold more tickets if we had the capacity for it. Maybe not as full in this side. Uh, it's probably useful. Or nearly full, anyway. I see a few empty seats on this side. Near the uh, left-hand side hedge. Of, of this area. Like, just here, there's a few empty seats. We need this Coomer to go forward and then... Okay, that'll do. Oh, on the line. Essentially, we need that poach just to, like, dummy. And then Coomer to go forward. He's quite good at scoring. Does that sometimes, but not all the time. And with all of that, we're 3-0 down. Not good. That's a good pass from Casey. Alright, we've got one one goal on the board. That's good, we need more of that. That's going to improve Casey's rating. I was surprised he got that ball, actually. He actually ran for it. That's a bad header from Mackenzie. Yeah, that's the thing with these players. Like, they do really bizarre... St like, they, their decisions sometimes are quite bizarre. They, like, pass onto a space where no one's there, or... They had a much easier pass somewhere else, and they decided to go for something completely... random and unachievable. Uh, right, so we're gonna get... Lot in and heal for now, that'll do. We can get winters in. Uh, that. Wait for a bit. Apologies. I just felt like I had to sneeze. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two more subs and then one more sub. Probably Ben. I've been 
meaning to get Ben out and I think I'm going to tag him along now. There we go. So that's all the subs. All done. I've also changed the captain. Captain's now Chris Austin. Used to be Ethan Hill. So both of them are the defensive midfielders. But um, I decided to go with Chris Austin. He had slightly better team working ratings, which I thought might be helpful. They both had the same leadership rating, so not much difference there. It has to get a few more goals in, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. And there we go. It's going to be a long road to get us out of this league and into a better league. So stay tuned if you want to. And also leave me tips, anything that I could do to uh, speed up this process. Thanks so much for watching until the end, and I'll catch up with you at the end of the season so we can see the outcome of this year. Take care. Bye-bye.